Kentic is proud to announce the general availability of Kentic Cube, an industry-first solution that provides expert network insight into Kubernetes workloads. Now, what we're doing with Cube is revealing the routing that enterprise container traffic takes through data centers, public clouds, and also across the internet. And working in tech today means that we're navigating a complex landscape of private resources, cloud resources, microservices architectures, and we're leveraging multiple types of Kubernetes. It's a pretty long list too, including AWS's EKS, Google's GKE, Microsoft AKS, and as well as offerings from VMware, Red Hat, and the list goes on. Now, though this diversity might empower teams with autonomy, which is good, it also introduces much more complexity into the environment, especially in terms of network visibility, troubleshooting capabilities, and even cost transparency. In fact, most Kubernetes monitoring tools out there don't adequately monitor cluster-to-cluster -cluster traffic, internet-to-service, and service-to-internet traffic, which should always be in the context of the application, too. So let's take a look at Kentic Cube and walk through a scenario where we're trying to pinpoint an application performance problem tied to network latency, specifically in the container environment. We're starting here in Kentic Cube with the Cube map. So as an example, when we get a trouble ticket that a service is slow, we could correlate the performance metrics that we're ingesting with the pods that are having problems. So here in our map, we have a nice visualization of our environments in US East 2 and US West 2. And notice at the top of your screen that the system will actually give you an automated alert for problems that you should pay attention to. And in this case, when I click on it, you see that we have 10 pods experiencing high latency. And, uh, and keep in mind that that's going to definitely impact service and specifically application performance down the road. So for this demo, our online shopping application isn't performing well, and the cluster supporting that is EKS Cluster 2. So I'll click on that namespace here on the right and drill down even further. And the specific service that we care about in this scenario is the payment service here noted in red, indicating that there's some sort of problem. Now, most of the items in this interface, this user interface, are interactive, so I can click on it and go even deeper, which I'll do here, and then select Show Details. And here on the right, we see the pod name, node name, some information about performance, but I'd like to see if there's anything else experiencing this latency problem. So what I'm going to do is click the node right here to see all of the pods that are running on it. And here, when I expand the pods list, you can see that they're all experiencing high latency. There's certainly something going on that's common to this entire node here, in, in this case at least. So if it's an issue with the node itself, we also need to be able to look at node-to-node -node traffic, which I can also do with Kenta Cube. But since every environment is a little different, it's important that we have the ability to create custom dashboards. So I've done that for our scenario, and you can see that here. And what you're looking at is a breakdown of node-to-node -node traffic, specifically in terms of latency, and then right here at the top, in green, is the node that we're investigating, which seems to have the highest latency in the entire infrastructure. And now that we've identified where this problem is actually happening, we could take action to fix this problem and to prevent it from happening again by possibly modifying node affinity and maybe rescheduling that service's pods altogether. Now I mentioned custom dashboards, which is certainly very useful, but we also need to take a proactive approach to container network monitoring by creating custom filters for what you wanna see and then alerts for when something goes wrong. The whole point is that latency, along with other network-based issues, can and do directly impact performance and a service's availability. So we need to track it and then get notified when there's a problem. So let's do that. Let's create an alert based on this scenario that we've been dealing with. We're still here in Kenta Cube, and what I'll do is select a service. In this case, we'll go with the checkout service. I'll show details, expand performance, and here we get an option to look at those metrics in Data Explorer. So I'll click on that, and that brings us automatically over to the Data Explorer, but already pre-populated with the query that we've been looking at. And we can certainly modify the query in whatever way we need to right here, but for now, I'm gonna leave it alone and simply go to Actions, and then create an alert policy based on this specific query. It's that easy. And you can see here at the top that we have tabs for the data set that we're working with, the thresholds this alert is built on, and then the specific traffic and performance baseline as well. Now for now, I'll leave everything at their defaults, but you can make changes here. Notice you can change the frequency this query is automatically run and therefore alerting on. And of course, then we're going to add our alerting channel, which could be an integration with your email, Slack, ticketing system like ServiceNow, and so on. 
Now, another important use for Cube is for security and compliance. Think about how traffic moves between on-prem, public cloud, among public clouds. Traffic is going all over the world, and we need to understand that from a security perspective. So for instance, if we need to ensure our Kubernetes infrastructure isn't sending or receiving traffic to and from unexpected places, all we need to do is create the relevant filters and alerts, which will monitor for that specific traffic and then alert us if there's a problem. So let's say that my organization is licensed to do business in the United States only. In the cube map, I can apply filters to see whether I'm getting traffic from other countries. And then based on this query, I can create an alert which notifies me that my infrastructure is sending or receiving traffic from outside the US and thereby not adhering to the standards of my organization. And then I can take further action if I need to. Now this is actually pretty straightforward to do. Again, I'm back in Kentic Cube and I'm gonna select filters here in the upper left and then edit the filters to create something custom. Now this is an ad hoc filter, so I'll select that and since I want to see traffic going to and from outside the US, I'll create an exclusion rule based on country, and then here I'll just select the United States. And then we apply the rule. So now the security policy is in our system. So I can go back to it, and if I want to, I can edit it even further. And again, you can see here that we have the tabs for general settings, the data set that we want to monitor, thresholds, baselines, and then a little bit further down here, we can select the channel that we wanna integrate with for alerting. And it's in this way that we're continually monitoring traffic according to this filter, which can be edited very, very specifically and in a granular fashion, and then get an alert whenever traffic is leaving or entering the US and possibly not adhering to our organization's security policies. The heart of what we're doing at Kentic, what we've always been about, is providing solutions that address the complexities and challenges of modern network operations and helping our fellow network engineers and technical leaders solve real problems. And in this case with Kentic Cube, take a significant step forward in ensuring that cloud native environments are more observable, manageable, and optimized. You could try Kentic Cube firsthand for yourself by signing up for a free trial at kentic.com cube. And of course, you can always reach out to your Kentic representative as well. Thanks.